Aloha! Michelle Hernandez here and welcome to Life is Constant in Hawaii TV. This channel is about bringing you love, hope, and faith. We are going through the giftings of the Holy Spirit. We're on the category of power gifts and today specifically we're going to be talking about the gift of interpretation of speaking in tongues. So stick with me and let's check it out together. All right, well, as you know, Holy Spirit giftings is a wonderful topic to the mind to talk about. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, it's just, and I'm in the category of power gifts from the Holy Spirit. And it's just a way of bringing you the presence and the reality and the power of God, His actual presence. Like through these giftings that fall into this category, we actually assist and help people encounter, have personal encounters with the Lord. And there's a statistic out there that says that 80% of the people that are Jesus lovers is, is because of their own personal encounter with Jesus. So for us to be able to help facilitate that is amazing. Now, in my previous uh, episode with the Holy Spirit Power Gifts, I spoke about speaking in tongues and what that is, the heavenly language and all that, and uh, that we receive from the Holy Spirit. And some issues surrounding it because a lot of churches, I mean, they like to, people, just organizations in general like to argue with one another and all that good stuff. But, you know, that's not Jesus' way. Jesus is given these gifts to just bring the fullness of the body of Christ to earth and so that we can help people come to Jesus and so in the interpretation of tongues this means a person that is able to do so so let's say there's somebody that speaks and prays in tongues out loud and it doesn't that it's not in another language but it's like it's like as far as another human language but it's totally a heavenly language and no one knows what it means because but you know as I said before in the other episode that God knows what it means and it's in the Bible saying that God knows what it means it's an intimate language with God so the one the person that has the gift of interpretation of tongues uh, can actually understand what the person that prayed out loud in tongues is actually saying now when that happens I believe that that's because God is trying to communicate a message. He wants to everyone in the congregation or in the room or wherever it's happening to hear what he wants uh, to say. And so he's um, communicating through that person that's praying in tongues in such a way that um, the one that has the gift of interpretation of tongues is can actually say, wow, I know what they mean, what they, what they say, what that means. And it's to be shared with the congregation to edify and to, and to communicate what God's will is to everybody. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, but as far as the gifting of tongue interpretation, is it real? I believe it is. I've never been able to understand another person's um, praying in tongues, but I know people that have. One was my husband before he went on to heaven. I mean, and he didn't have it all the time either. Like he only got it once, like we were in a prayer circle at church and um, was before service started and um, we all were all as a team just praying and this one person was praying out loud and very passionately and um, I can see it to this day it seemed like yesterday and my husband Mark his eyes were just kind of like oh my god I know what he's saying and he's like whispers to me he's like I know what he's saying and I mean I was like I don't know what he was saying so we finished up the prayer and before service I was able to speak to Mark and ask you know what what do you mean you know what he's saying? I go, what was he saying? And in that situation, he was praying um, the Lord's Prayer. And I don't know, we Mark, we didn't know why God revealed that that day to Mark. Um, he would get so many Holy Spirit giftings, it's crazy. But, um, and nor did Mark share with the congregation or with anybody what he heard. I think he heard, no, I think he shared later with the leaders privately, but we didn't share it with the church or anything like that because that would be one of the only times that he actually was able to interpret the speaking in tongues when somebody spoke out loud. I have another friend on the island that can do it. Um, she was doing it consistently for a while. I don't know if she can still do it or not because then it went away for a bit, but she was able to understand the, the prayer language. And when I... Um, was praying in, uh, in church and I would do it quietly but like she could hear me because she was standing next to me she was like and then after service she goes I know what you were praying I go you do and she's and she I go what was I saying and she told me what I was praying in tongues and it totally confirmed it was confirmed in my spirit because 
even though I didn't know in my head what it was um, that I was saying, but I knew in my heart what I was um, desiring that day. And, and, my, and, and so and when she spoke it to me, it made sense because that's what I desired in my heart. So And she didn't know that because I didn't tell her that. Now Mark and that my friend on island both said that they can, it, it's really strange, like they hear the fact of what it sounds like to all of us when we're speaking. It, the, you know, like the, the, you know, the, the syllables and, and, these, and these words that aren't of any language, any English language or any other language. So they can hear it. So they know that we're praying in tongues. But their spirit is like actually receiving the meaning of it. So whatever that means, right? So that's how they both reported it to me. And I, they never even met each other. So they're, they're not like trading notes, right? Um, so I also was at a, a conference, um, a big Christian conference. And somebody um, prayed out loud in tongues and during worship. And uh, and the leader, you know, came in because they would do worship and like we're they're playing music and everything to the Lord. And then the leader would come in and, and you know speak prayers and everything and declarations to the Lord. But when she heard the person cry out and pray in tongues, she knew because her spirit told her that this is something that God wants everyone to hear. So then she said, you know, all right. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord, for letting me know that you are talking today through this person to speaking in tongues. You have given me, you know, let my, you let my spirit know that this is this is here. So there must be an interpretation in the room. And so she had the um, someone get the mic over to the person that was praying in tongues, and they were they continued to pray in tongues until the interpreter in the room raised their hand. And actually, this was confirmed by a few people in the audience. Because she knew, and then there were people with the gifts of interpretation of tongues, and I don't even know what that message was. I was just like in awe that somebody was interpreting tongues. I think that, that was like maybe the second time I've ever seen that, and it was really, really cool. I mean, it's a cool gift. I don't know of uh, many people that have it personally. I mean, I guess they just rattled off three right there, which is could, to some would be a lot, but it's not like as common as speak, speaking and praying in tongues, you know, right, you know, just like that seems to be really common among the spirit-filled believers. And anyways, it's like, it's one of the giftings from the Holy Spirit. It's an awesome gift. And so, and it's a gift that our Father wants us to have. So it must be important and it must be used for His kingdom. And so it's a really cool thing. And I was, I'm so privileged to be able to have witnessed it firsthand in, in many instances. All right, so that's what I had for you with respect to the gift of interpretation of speaking in tongues. If you haven't already, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, download my book called A Father's Love, and it's listed in the description below. Check out the Salvation Prayer. If you haven't said yes to Jesus yet, it's not too late. If you believe it with your heart, then say it out loud. And believe it with your heart and you too can be a son and daughter of our wonderful Heavenly Father. So until next time, mahalo and aloha.